All right, Kyle, real quick, let's just, let's go back to high school. You know, you talk about your time at Barb and what kind of went into the process of coming to Louisiana. Uh, I mean, great program at Barb, Coach Glenn. I compare Coach Glenn and Coach Deggs to like similar stuff, hard nose. All they want you to do is just be tough and be a dog. So I knew Coach Deggs was like that, so that's my reason for coming here. Now, looking at last year, you know, you were the only guy on the team to start all 60 games last season. To do that as a true freshman, what did that mean to you and to be able to cap it off with a Sunbelt Championship? Yeah, I mean, that was huge. That was my goal. Coach Deggs always talks about just toughening it out, toughening out the injuries and stuff like that. And I had some injuries last year that really I don't even know if anybody knows about, but just toughed it out, played through it. So that meant a lot. And then ended up winning the conference championship. This year, you know, a, a lot of the core of last year's team comes back to, to kind of run it back a little bit. You and Carson Rockefeller and Heath Hood and guys like that. And the ups and downs of this year, how has that helped the brotherhood of, of this group to stick together and really grind out the season that you guys have had? Yeah, and adversity has come closer together. So, I mean, if anything, it's just built us up. And our best baseball is yet to come, yet to be played. So, now, for you personally, you, you've dealt with a lot of injuries this year with, with the hand, and, and you missed some time, and then you came back, and it still wasn't quite right. Uh, talk, talk about that adversity for you personally, you know, what you had to go through in order to come back and be back to, you know, what, what you are now. Uh, I mean, just getting, th getting through it through my head, like, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt, just telling myself that, and then... And then obviously, like having to be patient with it, it's an injury that you have to, it takes time, like all injuries. You told us the other night that you've had to change your approach at the plate with, with this injury. Talk about that. What have you changed and what have you noticed different about the way you play? Yeah, I mean, I could handle the bat good, like hit and runs and stuff like that. So I just tried to stay up the middle and stay inside the ball instead of like turning the barrel, trying to hit doubles and jacks to left field. So. It's, it's honestly helped me in a way because I'm not trying to do too much and less strikeouts and stuff like that. This weekend against ULM, what's the goal? What do you guys have to do? You got to sweep. Need to sweep. Sweep on the road, play good baseball, play our brand of baseball, pack baseball. It's going to be good. Playing four games, the three against ULM, and then obviously you guys are going to play Tech on Tuesday before you come home to host Texas State next week. That seven-game stretch is just going to be critical for you guys here in early May. You know, like to add on to that, you know, play pack baseball, how do you guys continue to, after the road trip, come home and keep up that mentality? Uh, I mean, I just think it's the way we're built. Like Coach Deg said yesterday at practice, it's just we trained all summer, fall, early spring for this six-week span, like playoff baseball, this home stretch at the end of the season. So I just think we're built for it. All right, I'll ask you a fun question now. Um, for those that might not know, what is your walk-up song and how did it come about? Well, Coach Daggs actually picked some of our walk-up songs. And then my other one, I have two. One of them by Cody Johnson. The other one is just like, I don't know, I like the Spanish vibe, like just different. I don't know any of the words, but, <laughs> yeah, I like uh, the You, you I like sure the I might want to ask vibe. you what it means? I have no clue. 